Jesus. There's so many. How many pairs are there? <laughs> Ready? All right, guys. We're here in Crystal River, and we're about to go scalloping. We went fishing yesterday with Captain Jake and Miranda. We had a, the best time, but Killing it. but the conditions were terrible. It poured the whole time. We caught a nurse shark, Whoa. catfish. Captain Jake fell overboard trying to <laughs> try, trying to get something off the prop or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so it was no real video, but. <laughs> we tried. But we had, a, we had a great time yeah. with those guys, so uh, look them up. Yeah. All right, so we're going down to meet Captain Red Ed. Yep. And we gotta be there in about 20 minutes, we'll and it's about time, 20 go. minutes away. <laughs> so we'll see you over down there. We'll be on time. All right, we're, on the, we're already at the second mission. We have arrived at the scalloping spot. We ran a little bit today to find to be where the scallops are at, because of course Captain Redhead knows exactly where they are. And he's gonna give us a little rundown of what we're gonna do down there. But one of my favorite things that he says is an underwater Easter egg hunt. Yep, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, so go you ahead. You can't and... describe it any better than that, an <laughs> underwater Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Um, this is what we're looking for. Um, they have a dark side and a light side. If the light side is up in the grass, uh, they're real easy to see. They stick out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. If the dark side is up, they camouflage real well. Mm -hmm. you, sometimes they'll be standing up straight up like that and they have a row of cobalt blue or turquoise blue eyes on the edge of each shell. And if they see you coming, that's how they propel themselves by opening and closing. Right. Uh, when you grab them, you want to grab them from the back side like that. If you grab them this way, they will pinch you. Okay. It doesn't really hurt. It will startle you more than anything. Uh, so when you grab them, Hold them like that, hold them closed. When you put them in the bag, hold the bag closed because they will try to swim out of the bag. This year what we found, and you know, the season's only been open a few days. Yeah. For some reason, they seem to be deep in the grass. Now here, as I told you, and one of the reasons we ran south today yeah. is the grass is not as high. So that shouldn't be an issue here, but okay. on every trip so far when we've been north, yeah. uh, they've been down deep in the grass. And I don't know why it's different. Sometimes they'll be sitting up on top of the grass, but so far not this year. They, they've been really hard to see because they've been so deep in the grass. Okay. Uh, and you know when you're swimming along, just bend at the waist and that'll take you right down to them. Right. While you're down, look real quick to either side. There's usually one or two more in that same area. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's go scalloping. Yeah. And aren't there a couple special ones too? Like uh, orange ones that you find? You always said that. <laughs> I always got to mention that <laughs> <You> one. <know. laughs> uh, and, and it was very cool the other day. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, these are the orange way. ones here. You know, these are, are rare, and uh, what I always do when I have kids on the boat, I put up a $5 bounty for the first kid to bring me an orange shell. Nice. And we just had a young lady, uh, her name was Casey, 15 years old. F first time she got an orange shell, and what I do, and uh, I have a great picture of it too. Uh, I signed the five dollar bill, Casey, the next Gallup queen, and I dated and signed cool. it. Cool. I got a picture of her holding a shell and the five dollars. Cool. So, so she was I'll all excited some, about it. Hopefully, yeah. we'll find some orange ones today. So, so yeah, if you find an orange one, you owe me five bucks. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah. Simple yeah. enough. Let's yeah. get in the water. Let's go again. All right, here we go, folks. We're about to go in the water and catch some scallops. They're already ahead of me in the water. I'm usually slow at this, but it's about four to five feet. So here we go. Beautiful day for this.
we've done like three, two to three dives and we're trying different areas and we're catching a ton of scallops and having a blast. And now the current is starting to rip out there. So, you know, you definitely got to fight that current and stay close to the boat or else you get pushed too far away. But I've already caught two orange scallops, which are the rare ones. And I love capturing those guys. So pretty sweet. And uh, we're just going to keep after it. But I think we got close to three gallons now. So doing it pretty good for today. We have made it back into the Homosassa Springs and now it's time to get the scallop shucked. And we are not doing that ourselves because it's a little bit of uh, effort, but also we want to support the local businesses. So the Huggins family is over here and we're gonna have them hook us up. Yeah, the system is you get the scallops and you bring them here, everyone brings them here. That's what you do. Yes. That's the thing to do. Exactly. Cheers, just dropped them off. Now we got some raw ones to try. They're so good. Mmm, I love Very it. Good. I love yeah. it. Mm. Really good. If you like oysters, you'll like these raw too. Dollops of goodness. Dollops like, of goodness. It's like puffs of crab meat. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. All right. We just got hooked up with our scallops. They just got them cleaned pretty quickly and gave them a nice tip. And now it's time to roll and eat them. What's up guys, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. Now the secret to this scalloping guys, is to get those people to clean them for you, because this is what it took even Darcy, our star, a million years. But this is a super simple recipe, how to two hands full, how to put my beer in my pocket. And I got the grill on medium, and all I did guys, and this is one of Red Ed's, is uh, one, one of Red Ed's famous recipes on his website, so definitely check him out if you're going out there. I mean, it's super easy to do, but you know, sometimes you gotta move around a lot of spots and Red Ed will get you there where they are, he knows, okay? So I just laid out a bunch of these shells. Could you tell those people when you get them cleaned over at McCray's that you want them to leave you some shells and they'll give you, oh, and they'll give you as many shells as you want. So then you spread the shells out and I just made a little concoction of olive oil, salt and pepper, uh, thyme, but you can use any spices you want and then a about two cloves of garlic and a quarter cup of olive oil. Uh, but of course, I put like five things of garlic because we love the garlic. And then I just put a little bit, a little dollop or a little teaspoonful or just dumped a little bit of that mixture onto each scallop. And you can put more than one scallop in each shell, whatever you want to do. And this is going to be delicious. You know, you can also put them in, wrap them in bacon. You can broil them. My dad and I, when I was growing up, my dad would go down to his local a commercial fisherman guy friend out of, out of Bellport, East Patchogue. And that back when they had scallops all in the Great South Bay and we would have them for dinner and we would just uh, broil them with some, with some butter and it just comes out delicious. So this is gonna take about two minutes, three minutes. You wanna check it right away because these things are tiny about the size of your thumb. And then when we all set to eat, it's gonna be awesome. Let's go. All right guys, that literally took like three minutes. You gotta make sure you don't burn them because again, they're tiny. Yes, time to have a delicious appetizer. Yeah, I also mentioned, I wanted to mention, like when we did this with Darcy's dad, we put it in like a pasta. Yes. So, and you can also put this with more butter. Yeah. Mm. So good, I'm gonna eat all these right now. Woo, the shell's very hot. Shell's are hot. Is this all of them? No, it's like a third. Okay, yeah. I think next time, all you gotta do is add like two or three scallops in each shell because it is like a little tiny smidge of food in each scallop. You get more garlic for yeah, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it in both. But there we go. Pretty easy, pretty simple. We hope Ooh. you guys get out there this summer and have an awesome adventure scalloping. And Red Ed is the man if you want to go do that. Um, he's got a team of boats with him at all times, and he knows exactly where they are. So don't waste your time. Call Captain Red Ed. It's gonna be <laughs> down in the description below. But we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. More adventures coming out real soon. We are stoked to bring them to you. We love you all. And until our next one. Follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. How about a kiss? No. <laughs> a garlicky kiss. <laughs> God, I can't get a break. The scallop is dead. <laughs>